Hi friends, today I'm going to read a story for you called Splat the Cat and the Pumpkin Picking Plan. And this story is about Splat the Cat and his friend Seymour, who is a mouse, and they visit a pumpkin patch and um, to find a pumpkin. And maybe you've been to a pumpkin patch this year, so you will be able to relate to the story. I have not been yet to the pumpkin patch, so I'm anxious to find out what is going to happen to Splat the Cat and his friend Seymour. Autumn was one of Splat's favorite seasons. And autumn is just another word for fall, which is the season we are in right now when the leaves start to change colors and they fall off the trees. The weather starts getting a little bit cooler. I'll help you rake the leaves, said Splat. Thank you, Splat, said Mom. Splat was good at raking leaves. Seymour helped too. Soon they made a huge pile. Splat stared at the pile. Suddenly he had a great idea. His tail wiggled wildly. Let's pull out one of our story ones and see what it says. What will happen next? So what do you think is going to happen next in the story? What do you think Seymour's plan is with these with this big pile of leaves. Wonder what he's gonna do. Splat! <gasps> leaves went flying everywhere. Oh man. Splat's mom sighed. I have an idea, Splat, she said. Why don't you go to Farmer's Patch's pumpkin patch? You can pick out a pumpkin to decorate and put on our porch. Splat thought that sounded like a great idea. I'll pick the most perfect pumpkin ever, he promised. Splat grabbed his wagon and he and Seymour set off on their way. Splat loved Farmer Patch's pumpkin patch. There was so much to see and do. He was he saw a very scary scarecrow. Do you see the scary scarecrow? Oh, there he is right there. That looks like a lot of pumpkins. He got lost in the hay bale maze. He tasted fresh apple and fish cider. Then Splat remembered he was supposed to pick out the perfect pumpkin. The perfect pumpkin should be big, orange, and round, he told Seymour. And Seymour's taking notes. I bet he wrote down big, orange, and round so they can find that perfect pumpkin. He found a pumpkin that was very round and very orange. Too small, he announced. The next pumpkin was big and orange, not round enough, he told Seymour. Seymour found a big round pumpkin, not orange enough, said Splat. What color is that pumpkin that they found? It's got a yellow, a little green on it. Splat's tail wiggled wildly with worry. Would he ever find the perfect pumpkin? But then Splat spotted another pumpkin. It was round, it was orange, and it was the biggest pumpkin in the place. <gasps> Look at his eyes. He seems excited. Let's see what it looks like. Perfect, Splat cried. Mom will love this one. But there was one problem. Can you see what the problem is? What do you think the problem is? How was Splat going to get the pumpkin home? This won't fit in my wagon, said Splat. I know, he said. I'll roll it. <laughs> you think they can roll that pumpkin all the way home? Splat rolled the pumpkin out of the gate. He rolled it on the road and down a hill. Whoa, Splat cried. Splat ran. The pumpkin rolled. The pumpkin wouldn't stop no matter what Splat did. Help, Splat cried. Splat cried. Does he look scared? 
He does look scared. I wonder what's gonna happen. Wow, Splat could steer the runaway pumpkin with his feet. He steered it over a bridge and in between cars and right through his front gate. Uh-oh, he broke the gate. Finally, the pumpkin stopped. Splat's mom smiled. Oh, Splat, it's perfect, she said. Well done. Splat smiled back. It was no trouble, he said. No trouble at all. Did that pumpkin maybe give him a little trouble? I think it did. He looks a little tired, doesn't he? So did Splat find the perfect pumpkin? Well, he said the perfect pumpkin was big, round, and one more thing, orange. So he found what he thought was the perfect pumpkin. All right, let's answer some more questions about our story with our magic story wands. Let's see what this one says. Where is the setting? The setting of a story is where the story takes place. Where did it, where did it happen? So where did Splat and Seymour go in, the, in our story? Right, they went to the pumpkin patch. So the main setting of this story is the pumpkin patch. Okay, let's see what this question is. What is the story about? So what was our story about? What happened in the story? Right, it was Splat and Seymour, and they went to the pumpkin patch to try to find the perfect pumpkin to bring home. And did he find one? Yes, he did. All right, last question. What was your favorite part? Hmm, what was your favorite part of the story? Let me think of my favorite part. I think my favorite part um, of the story was when Splat figured out how to roll the pumpkin and he rolled it over the bridge. That takes some talent, huh? What was your favorite part? I would love to know. You can let me know. Um, send me a message and let me know. And um, next up, Miss Katie's going to show you how to make a pumpkin with Play-Doh. And then she's going to show you how to draw and label your own pumpkin. Hey guys, today we're going to do a couple of activities. So what you'll need is some Play-Doh. If you'll go get your Play-Doh and then um, you're gonna need a piece of paper and some markers or crayons, whatever you have on hand, or you can even use some paint. So go get those real quick and we'll do some activities. So what we're gonna be making today with the Play-Doh is a pumpkin. This is what the pumpkin is gonna look like or however you wanna make it. I've already made one, and I'm gonna make another one with you. So here's my orange Play-Doh. You can use whatever color you want, and you just squeeze it and make it soft, and then you kind of roll it in like a little ball, like we've done before. Then you're gonna take it and smash it with your hand, just like that. And it's gonna look like a little round circle like a pumpkin and then I'm gonna take an extra piece of play-doh that I have and I'm gonna roll it long ways into a stem there's the stem of the pumpkin and then even if you want to add some dimension to your pumpkin you can make little lines because pumpkins have those little bumpy marks on them and there you have a pumpkin. You can also take your pumpkin or your Play-Doh and roll it in a ball. Well, hang on. Roll it and roll it and roll it until it's in a round ball like you want it. So there you have a round circle and then you just take another piece of Play-Doh and roll it like you did the other stem and just put it on top. And you can also make a pumpkin like that too. So there's that. Now go grab your paper and whatever markers, crayons, watercolor paints, whatever you wanna do, 
And we're going to draw a pumpkin and color a pumpkin and label some parts on the pumpkin. So first, I'm going to take my orange marker because some pumpkins are orange. They're also yellow or they're other different colors too if you've seen them in a pumpkin patch. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to make a little line that goes this way and a little line that goes this way. Or you can just make a circle however you want to do your pumpkin and then I'm gonna make some marks on my pumpkin like I did on the play-doh and then I'm gonna use brown for the stem you can use whatever colors you want but I'm gonna use brown and then I'm gonna use green for some vines. And vines are the little things that come out of the stem. You just go and swirls and make little vines back and forth. So there are your vines. And then I'm just gonna take another little orange color. It's a little lighter and just go in between the marks of my pumpkin to give it some color. And this is also a good craft that you can do and put on your fridge and leave it up until Halloween. Add some decoration to your fridge. Now we're gonna, so there's our pumpkin. You should have a little orange circle, a stem, and vines. And now we're gonna label it, okay? So this part, the outside of the pumpkin, the hard part that you see on the outside is called, called the skin. Can you say skin? So I'm gonna spell that for you. And you can write it if you want to. I'm gonna draw a little arrow to my pumpkin, and I'm gonna write the word skin. Skin is S-K-I-N, and if you need help, you can always ask your mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever's there to help you, to help you write these words. Then, I'm gonna draw an arrow to my stem. This brown part on top of the pumpkin is called a stem. Can you say stem? And I'm going to write the word stem. S-T-E-M. S-T-E-M. Stem. Now these green parts, these little swirls, are called vines. These are on the pumpkins when you first pick them. Once you pick the pumpkin, they're not there no more. So these are called your vines. So I'm gonna draw an arrow to the vines and I'm gonna write the word vine. V-I-N-E, that's how you spell vine. And I know it's backwards, but just help have your parents help you and you'll do just fine. And there you have your pumpkin. You can also draw other stuff on your little paper if you want to. Like I know that when you carve a pumpkin, it has seeds. There's seeds in your pumpkins along with the gooey guts that come out of it. So I'm gonna draw some seeds like I just carved my pumpkin. And you can do whatever you want. I'm just gonna add a little extra to my page. And then you can even label those. You can label those seeds. S E E D S C. And if you can think of any other parts of a pumpkin, you can also draw those and put those on your paper as well. Thanks for joining me. All right, let's talk about one last activity that you can do today, and that is setting up an obstacle course. And the weather is beautiful today. You can set one um, up outside in your yard, or you can set one up inside. And an obstacle course can be as easy or as challenging as you want it to be. So, and you can just use things that are around your house. You could use pillows, 
You can use um, cups that you have to go in between and walk around. You can use toys for that. You can use things that you have uh, just set in the floor that you have to jump over. So an obstacle course is where you take um, items and set them up where you would have to jump over them, uh, crawl around them or under them, um, skip around them. Maybe you have a ball that you have to throw into something. It can be whatever you like. If you make an obstacle course, I would love to see pictures of what you create and um, I'll put those together in a slideshow and we can share those with each other and that will be fun to see. So I'm looking forward to see if you create an obstacle course and um, how good you do at it. So share with us if you do it. <laughs>